What's up guys, it's me LEGO Paradise here, and today I'm going to show you my LEGO Far Cry vehicles, including the Far Cry 3 Technical Off-Roader, and the Far Cry 4 Buzzer Auto Gyro. I really like the designs of the vehicles in the Far Cry games, and I thought it'd be a perfect opportunity to build a couple of them, just in time for the release of Far Cry 5. So let's take a look at each of these vehicles in a bit more detail. Ok, so first we'll take a look at the Technical, and that is the name of the military style off-roader found in Far Cry 3. So as you can see, I think I've done a pretty good job in recreating all of the details of the original in-game version, and I've tried to make this as accurate and minifigure scale as possible. So if we start by looking at the front, you can see the first bit on the car is the old bumper, which in this case is a plank of wood, just like in the game, because maybe the original bumper has fallen off and whoever owned this, this car has just attached a makeshift wooden plank to use as the bumper instead. And I think that's a really funny detail, both in the game and just in general, and I wanted to recreate that on my LEGO version. And then you have the grill behind it and the headlights, all essential. And then when we get to the actual hood of the car, in the game, the actual technical vehicle has a bit of a weird shape where it sort of goes down on the sides and is raised a bit in the middle. Just a bit more streamlined like you'd expect on the car. But obviously with Lego bricks at this small scale, you can't really achieve that. So instead to represent this design, I've used a couple of rope pieces. And you can see how they're attached both near the windscreen and also underneath but I think they work really well and you can sort of tell the original shape of the hood or the bonnet of the car as it's supposed to be. And then as we get to the windscreen, you can see this is a really cool feature because this actually can flip up, just like in the real life version of the car this is based on. Because I'm pretty sure this is based on the Land Rover Series 90. But either way, you can see that flips up and that's something that you can't actually do in the in-game version, but I think I've done that really nicely and it sits nice and flat just when it's unfolded or flipped up and you can angle it however you want. I think that's turned out really well and obviously you can add on a roof or whatever you want to the back later or some sort of roll cage if you want it to be a bit more realistic. But this way it looks quite cool, just like a military style off-roader would look like. And then in the middle, you can see the driver, who is currently based on the Far Cry 3 Rakiat Warrior. He's just driving it there. He's got his little outfit and his gun bandana. And I've even included a small steering wheel just in the front there, as well as a handbrake, since there's just enough room to include a couple of those details. And I thought, why not include them? And then at the back, of the technical is the space where in the game at least you'd have a bunch of troops either the, some more of these Rakiat warriors or some of the pirates or mercenaries and they would just sit on these wooden benches and I thought that again was a pretty essential detail just include those benches and a bit of space so you can store things like this guy's weapons and as well as that I've also included a little spare tyre, since I think that's a really cool way of attaching it. Just That's also using one of those short Lego ropes. You can see how it's attached underneath. And to stop it from wobbling about, it's also attached underneath that actual 1x6 plate. So you can see I have just attached an upside down brick, and that's held in with one of those Technic pins. And that just provides an area for the tyre to sit on and stop it wobbling about. And obviously the rope stops it from falling down when the car is the right way up. And that's pretty much it for the details, since this car is quite a simple one in the game. So there's not too much to recreate. But I'm pretty happy with how it's turned out, especially since it's made using a pretty rare colour. Well, one which I don't have many pieces in, which is this sand blue. Since again, I wanted to make it as accurate as possible to the real in-game version, and I think I've done a pretty good job. 
Okay, so now we get to the second vehicle, and this is the buzzer from Far Cry 4. And this is a gyrocopter or an auto gyro. So it's actually based on a real life version of this mini helicopter type vehicle. But if you've played Far Cry 4, you'll notice that it behaves more as a helicopter. While in real life, these auto gyros actually behave more like small aircraft because they can't actually hover in one place, surprisingly, since the real life version actually has a another propeller at the back that actually propels it forward and this top propeller just keeps it up in the air and I thought that's just an interesting fact because I always thought that you could actually get little helicopters like this in real life and you sort of can but they don't exactly behave in the same way so just with that little fact out of the way now you can see my version of the Far Cry 4 Auto Gyro and again this is pretty close to minifigure scale Maybe a little bit bigger, but I don't think that's too bad because it still allows a minifigure to sit nice and comfortably there. You can see the main character of Far Cry 4, AJ, is currently piloting it. And this is the little control stick that you can use to pilot the gyrocopter in the game. And then you have the little display, and this would be where the dials are as you can see them from the first person view when you're actually flying this in Far Cry 4. And again, that's a pretty important detail that I wanted to include. Then you have a couple of fuel tanks on the side near the wheels. And these are the main wheels, the uh, sort of bigger ones in the middle. But you also have a couple of smaller wheels just at the front and the back of the gyrocopter, as well as some little platforms and I believe these are the ones where you can actually stand on when you're like exiting or shooting out of the buzzer in the game. But they're also pretty cool and you can see I've just attached those some normal 1x2 grill pieces by just clamping them in the middle of this whole build just right there. And then as we get towards the middle this is obviously where the rotors of the buzzer are and these can spin about. They are a little bit wobbly, but they do the job. And I think at this scale, it's still pretty impressive that all of the major details are included. So then connecting the rotors to the buzzer is the short little drive axle. And that goes into the engine, which is in the middle. And I guess that's for the center of gravity. You can see that I've recreated some of the details just by using some of this new one by one half semicircle tile. That's quite a new piece. And then a little rocket piece. Well, they're usually used for the base of rockets in official LEGO creations. Just at the back. And I like how that transitions into the supports for the little tail rudders at the back. And you can see I've also tried to extend this sort of really thin frame build by just using some more Lego bars just in general everywhere around the build. And then as you get to the back you have a second copy of that front wheel and the little tail fins at the back. And they just provide some more support and stability. And of course in the game, much like the technical off-roader, you can also get these buzzer helicopters in different colours but I've just chosen to do a red one since I think it stands out quite well. And I've also got all of the pieces, such as the bit I use for the front. Because I, again, I've tried to make all of the colours as accurate as possible to the in-game version. And I'm really happy with how both of those vehicles have turned out. So I hope you enjoyed my LEGO Far Cry vehicles. That was just a quick little video of a couple of really cool designs I thought I'd like to share. And I can't wait to see what other things I can build from the new Far Cry game. Or I might even have a go at building a couple of the other different vehicles from the older Far Cry games. But either way, don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe for more. And I'll be back next time with some more LEGO creations. Thanks for watching.